She's the one in the cowboy hat. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Lighting's a little bad, so are we doing our... I know. Curious spot to put you guys with, like, yeah, brothel it's, lighting. It's really washing yeah. everybody yeah. out. I, I got so it. We're going to... That's okay. Oh, nice. It's, That's it cute. helps, right? Oh, yeah. so you're doing it. There we go. Oh, hello. Oh, you have the that? You have that? Okay. So it's, it's cute. I don't love that case. It's the best. What's it called? Oh, Bro's House. Oh, Lumi. That's genius. Oh my god, I, I'm gonna get so that from my daughter. You want to use your lily? Yes, I'm gonna use it. Okay. There you go. Do you want me so. to use my lily? <laughs> Double lily whammy? Yeah. 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 Do we have something to hold it up? Oh my gosh, we're so difficult. Here, here, use that. Look at this. It's, it's nice to see you sitting without people growling yeah. around you. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, I didn't even realize it until right now. And it's so awkward. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. It's, still, it's still got some. Yes. Are we ready? Okay. Yes. We're ready. Thank you. Thank you. One of the most. We're being asked a question. <laughs> Well, you might get the scoop right here. That's breaking season two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. One of the most interesting looking episodes recently was with the alternate universe. Um, can you talk about the decision to light it the way you did? And having the characters be so different, especially Izzy, which was amazing. Right. Uh, she, she was fantastic, wasn't she? Yeah, I mean, it's, sometimes people underestimate how really great an actress uh, Emrod is because you know they, they go she can't be a fantastic actress and that beautiful at the same time and she is and uh, and what we decided to do is make the alternate universe look way different than the our real universe so that the audience could tell the difference when we instantly when we but so it's completely lit differently costumed differently and then treated differently in post Can talk about specifically what's come up with Luke, you know, when we first met this summer, you we weren't even able to talk about him being a werewolf. Can you talk about how that's developed? Well, he's a werewolf. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we, we, uh, we, we knew that, uh, uh, we, first of all, we had to conceal that because those who didn't read the books, we didn't want to reveal that he was going to be a werewolf. And, uh, but uh, he, he has a different swagger on set. I don't know if that's pertinent. But uh, now that he's a werewolf, he has just uh, been like a very alpha male around yeah, on the He's set. ascended naturally to being the leader of the pack, shall we say. Yes. So, yes. So he orders me around now, so that's fine. Do you use any of the, aside from the necklace, do you use any of the Oh, you caught that we used the necklace? And uh, there were a few very savvy uh, viewers that noticed that the door to the alternate universe was the door to the portal from the original film. And we thought, we, and we put that in there thinking, oh, maybe they won't notice it, Will, but if, if they did, we would say it's, it's a good memory of the film. But that's something we've always embraced. I mean, I love the remix mashup culture that sometimes we get in hot water for. I mean, you talk about the alternate universe, there were, there were moments in there that got to speak to some of the elements that weren't represented in the television expression of the books, but in the flashback, sort of alternate world, we were able to explore some of those things we were talking about it the other day. Church so and it, Chairman Meow. There you go. And it's just sort of that to props to all of it and just keeping people guessing in this sort of a surprise cookie culture which to me finds it I find that exciting and just it means that we're always trying to listen and be respectful of the fandom first and foremost and it's interesting because in regard to that I think a lot about the books and the stories you tell I mean the books exist and then the television show exists and I really, really like what Ed is up to with those stories. I mean, we don't always get it right. We do the best we can. You can't win every one of those fan discussions. But I think, you know, to come out the other end of it with people much more excited about, you know, what we've been up to having seen season one feels great. Thank you.